Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial and um, it will be to recreate this look here. Hopefully that doesn't blur out. Um, and this is such a simple yet effective idea. Um, you will need a couple of things to do it, but um, once you've got them, then you can use them over and over. So um, that is something I have blogged about um, on my blog. I shall put a little link just below here um, so you can have a look at those and find out about costings, that kind of thing. Um, but I wanted to do this because there are, you know, with the craze for things like Minx and the trendy nail wraps that is around at the moment, they can be quite expensive and um, if you're someone who likes to have your nails done all the time with that expense can then, you know, mean that you wouldn't get them done so often. So this is such a simple and easy way to do it and so affordable. So. Um, I wanted to share that with you and um, I did mine the other week, I think they were pink leopard print and I had quite a few people say to me, you know, oh my god, where did you get your nails done, how did you do them? So I haven't done that but I will do that another time but I wanted to show you this one today and then, um, you know, I do regularly update my blog with the different nail designs I've done so, you know, keep an eye on that too. Um, so the things that you will need are from Conad which um, is like a nail art... Um, company but it's designed with stamping rather than um, painting like with the brushes um, and the things that you will need is this which is your design plate um, a stamper tool which has got a bigger end and a small end and then this is your scraper um, hopefully it's not very clean um, so those are the three things you need um, the design plate obviously there's a ton of those so you can choose all the designs that you like um, and like I said because you can use them over and over you know it's a small investment basically so those are the things that you will need today along with your nail varnishes and what have you but I shall show you what you need in a second um, and literally all you need to do is paint the nails stamp on the design seal it in with your top coat and it's done so I shall go ahead and show you that now Okay, so the look that we're going for today, as you can see, is the hind tooth check. And um, I've obviously done most of those, so I'm just going to do my index finger and my thumb here for you today. What I've already gone ahead and done is popped on my base coat, which as normal, I'm using the OPI MV original. Um, and the colour that I'm using, I know it looks like black, but it's actually um, a really, really dark sort of purple colour. And it's the OPI Black Cherry Chutney, which is this one here. So I'm just going to pop on my coats of those and again if you're trying to paint them so that you don't take it all the way into the cuticle you can always tidy it up after if you do make a bit of a mess. And I would still pop on two coats of this um, as you want the colour to be sort of as deep as possible underneath the white check. And then what you just need to do is just wait for that to dry off a little bit so that when you roll the stamper over it obviously doesn't imprint into the actual varnish. Um, it will leave a nice crisp finish. So we're just going to wait a few seconds for that to dry. Okay, so now that these are dry, the next step is using the Conad um, design stamper and the one that we're using hopefully you can see will be that one there um, which will give us this design um, now this is the design um, pad M63 and you can get so many of these with all sorts of different ones but this is the one we're using today and it does have sort of five designs in total so you know once you've bought one of these you can use them forever and you know you'll get so many different looks um, with all the different designs. So it's really simple and easy to use and what you'll use is um, ideally a nail art paint or pen um, rather than nail varnish. It won't give you the same look if you use nail varnish um, and all you have to do is pop the, you know, your chosen colour, pop the paint onto your stamping pad 
and try and get sort of so it doesn't have to be neat this bit which is always good and then what you're going to do is then use your scraping tool and you're just going to scrape across the pad and use then your stamper to go over and you should end up with the design on there and the idea then is that you then go over your nail and the design comes off on your nail. So as you can see that is so easy to do. Um, now with this, because obviously I've got quite a wide thumbnail, there isn't much that needs to come off around. Um, on this one there probably will be, which I'll show you in a second, but what you can do is pop scotch tape around if you want to so then when the the um, nail art paint goes onto the skin you can just pull that off or because it is such a small amount I don't tend to worry too much and just go around with a q-tip after and just tidy up any um, bits that you want to take off so we'll just do this one now always make sure when you're using your conad things that you do clean them off in between each use okay so then we're going to do the same again so pop your nail art paint onto the design you've chosen. Use the scraper. And then with this one, again, we're just literally going to roll it over the design so that you pick it up onto the end of the stamper. And then Try and line up your nail the best you can and then roll over the nail. And what you might end up with, like I said, is just a little bit of paint just around the edge there. But because it is such a small amount, you can then just go round and tidy it up with the, the little Q-tip there, which is super easy. Um, so that is all you would need to do at this point. Give that like a few seconds just to um, dry off and then pop on your top coat. Um, I normally use the OPI start to finish um, or their rapid dry top coat. Um, either would be really good and the nice thing then is it seals it all in but also gives it a really glossy finish. So um, what I'll do is just tidy that up and then um, come back and show you the finish result. Okay, so that's all tidied now. I've taken away the little bit that did go on the skin um, and just literally used um, a little uh, cotton bud or a Q-tip with um, some nail varnish remover and went around the edges. And it will now should be dry enough to just pop a quick um, top coat on. So just, again, just go over the top. That will seal that in and give it a nice shiny finish. And because this does sort of tend to wrap over the edges slightly, just take your top coat so you just run a line along the top and that should stop it from sort of peeling back at all at the top. And then on my thumb as well. And another nice finish you could do is pop in like a sparkly top coat over the top just to give it a little bit of glitter um, or keep it plain. And again, you can choose any of the colours, you know, um, that you like, any base coat and then any um, nail art colour. So, you know, you can really experiment with this. Um, maybe add some diamantes in. Um, so whatever takes your fancy, really. But there you go. It's a really super easy idea. Um, give it a try. Let me see any photos you um, take when you do try them. And um, any questions, just drop me a message. And that's it, really, for today. So hope you've enjoyed it, and I shall see you soon. Bye.